Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I've got two boneless chicken thighs, and all I'm going to do here is remove the fat. Just like that. Then you're going to take them on the back side and cut them lengthwise. Then you want to turn them and cut them crosswise into little pieces. Now this isn't necessary, but I like to marinate my chicken with teriyaki marinade. It just helps give the chicken just a little bit more flavor. Now we're going to be using pan-set canton noodles and they're really dry but they're a light fluffy dehydrated noodle. And to rehydrate these all you do is pour boiling hot water over the top and let them soak for five minutes. Just make sure that they're completely submerged during this time. Now vegetables. We'll be slicing half of a sweet onion, a whole stick of celery, and some scallions. We're also going to need some bean sprout and some shoestring sliced carrots. Now's a good time to strain our noodles. I'm going to get all the liquid out and then just let them rest for about five minutes. And I just put them back in a pot right on the stove. Because now it's time to cook our chicken. Just use a little bit of oil and just stir this and toss it back and forth until we cook it thoroughly. Once your color is like this, you can go ahead and set it aside in a bowl. Now a little bit more oil, and I'm using peanut oil by the way. Toss that around in a hot pan and we'll start our vegetables. Now you want to lay down the onion first, and then everything else over the top of that. That onion is going to help derive a lot of flavor here for this chow mein. Now go ahead and reach for the noodles and lay them right over the top of the veggies. Now all you want to do is just stir this in and toss it back and forth over a high heat. And you're going to add some dark soy and toss. This is pretty standard. You're going to do this back and forth until this recipe is done. Now we're going to add some light soy. Now we're going to add some MSG, but if that ruins the recipe for you, don't add it. Now some sherry cooking wine. Then season with salt and of course pepper. Now after you're convinced that all those ingredients are mixed in pretty well, you can go ahead and add in your chicken. Now you're going to lay in some garlic oil. Now if this wasn't the recipe you're looking for and you prefer a crispy noodle chow mein, I'll plug a link at the end of this video for my recipe. But this is what the soft noodle should look like. We'll just top it with scallions. We'll mix that up real good and call it a day. And there you have it, chicken chow mein, right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching, and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.